These canals provide really that backbone water supply that allows this community to, to really thrive. In California's Central Valley, irrigation canals are the arteries keeping the heart of this crucial American farmland alive. That system was designed over 130 years ago. It works great. Josh Weimer works for the Turlock Irrigation District. Founded in 1887, it's the oldest in the state. You don't see this kind of thing every day. Now, they're trying something new. Can you span canals with solar panels and what's the benefit? Because we have 250 miles of canals. And so where does it make the most sense? They call it Project Nexus, a $20 million state-funded pilot to transform canals into clean energy corridors. Cool water underneath makes the solar panels more productive, and the shade they provide cuts water loss from evaporation. It's almost 100 degrees out here, right? That thing's making a lot of shade. Jordan Harris co-founded Solar Aquagrid, the project manager. The idea took off after a study from UC Merced, co-authored by Brandy McEwen, showed the potential benefits. If we covered all 4,000 miles of California's major canals, we could save up to 63 billion gallons of water annually. Wow, that's pretty significant. That's enough to irrigate 50,000 acres while powering California's push for clean energy. The value of water is only going to go up. Our needs for energy are only going up. We need to look at solutions like this. Solar is the fastest growing electricity source in the U.S., up nearly eightfold in a decade, according to Climate Central. It's key to phasing out fossil fuels and their heat trapping emissions that are warming the planet. Canals like this one in California are not the only place where water and solar are coming together. In fact, they're also now teaming up on ponds and lakes all around the world. Floating solar, or photovoltaics, are making waves from California to New Jersey, creating clean energy without taking up valuable land. In China, the world's largest offshore solar farm spans 2,000 football fields of water, powering 2.6 million people. This location has two different solar arrays. Josh Weimer says they will soon install a retractable solar system that could save even more water, testing whether the promise outweighs the price. So right now you don't know if this really makes long-term financial sense. Not yet. There are potential benefits from this, but we gotta make sure that it doesn't impact the reliability and affordability of the water being delivered. If it works, it could turn waterways like these into currents of clean energy. For Climate Central, I'm Ben Tracy in California's Central Valley.